Welcome to Electro Online. To get a better understanding what the electromotive force is, we have some examples here and an analogy to something that we're probably more familiar with. First of all, we need to recognize that the term electromotive force is somewhat misleading and the word or the part of the expression that makes it misleading is the word force because it's more accurately associated with energy rather than force or better yet the potential which is voltage rather than force so let me show you here we have a battery what a battery does it takes charge and moves it from one end of the battery to the other end of the battery when the battery is connected with a conductor so the battery raises the potential energy of the charges or if you leave the word energy off it raises the potential potential can be equated to voltage so when you read a battery it's usually rated at a particular voltage which means that's how much the potential will be raised by the battery it raises the potential of the charges which then allows the charges to go through the circuit notice i've drawn a bunch of resistor symbols on this conductor to indicate that yes every conductor will have a certain amount of resistance or it could have specific resistance properties or there could be resistors on the circuit it doesn't matter and that what happens as the charges flow through the conductor and it meets up with the resistance energy because it's gained energy by the battery is then converted to heat due to resistance and so by the time the charges make it to the other side of the battery all that energy was lost to overcoming the resistance of the circuit if we want to draw an analogy we can think of water and a pump a pump will actually pump water from a lower potential to a higher potential or from a lower potential energy to a higher potential energy a pump does work raising the potential energy of the water sending it to a higher level so it gains potential energy the pump raises water to a higher potential energy and then the water will run down the hill converting potential energy to heat due to friction as it's running down the hill water will meet up with resistance along its path and by the time it reaches all the way to the bottom all that potential energy is being converted to heat and now it's at the bottom and the pump will then pump it back to the top there's a lot of analogies between what's happening here and what's happening there so you can see that what's driving charges through the circuit is basically something that causes the charges to gain a higher potential and so it's that higher potential that drives the charges through yes there are forces involved when we get down to the molecular level and to the charge level but the term force kind of makes it confusing because it really what we're talking about is the battery raises the potential which causes the charges to flow through the circuit so we would like to at least define the emf the electromotive force as the potential that's gained due to perhaps a battery or a voltage source so the voltage rises then we realize using ohm's law since the current through a circuit is equal to the potential v divided by the resistance of the circuit or the voltage drop through the circuit is equal to the current through the circuit times the resistance of the circuit or we can replace voltage by emf and we can say that the current is equal to the emf of the circuit divided by r something that causes an electromotive force to exist and then essentially the emf is really the same as voltage and therefore we can say that the emf on the circuit is equal to the current times the resistance now we'll see later that batteries have internal resistances or voltage sources have internal resistances which affect the equation between voltage and emf there will be some factor that we have to adjust for we'll see that later but for now it's probably sufficient to think about well voltage and emf are basically the same thing and so it's better to think of the emf as a type of voltage rather than an electromotive force a force pushing the electrons or the charges through notice that the potential voltage can be defined as energy divided by charge energy divided by q and so electromotive force is equal to the energy gained by the charges divided by the charges which means the gain in potential so the gain in potential is equal to the gain in energy divided by the charge q 
And so electromotive force can be thought of equal to the amount of energy gained by the charges divided by the charges themselves, or the charge of the charges, which means potential or voltage. And that's a better way to think of the electromotive force.